Saka. The three of Austin Dillon into the catch fence. All the crews getting out to that car to assist these drivers. Thumbs going up from all the crew members and the crowd roars. Look at the catch fence on the front straight. Members pulling. Austin Dillon out. He's walking. The damage to the floor of Kevin Harvick. What an incredible sight to see Austin Dillon walking away from that three car that is demolished. Yeah, the 11 gets kind of stuck in the middle there and gets comes across the fours bumper as he does. He spins back in, gets the three airborne, and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence. He went from the bottom of the racetrack over two rows of cars and into that catch fence. Here we go. You can see him on the bottom. Rex starts in front. He runs in the back of the 24, gets up on the 11. Now he's on top of the 50.5, and now it's just a long bit of ride. Yeah, Watch the car that. stop. Watch the car stop. It gets into those poles, and it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour, I'm just guessing, to a complete stop. That is unbelievable. And that, it looks like a tour. That's 3,500 pounds. That, that stock car is extremely heavy. You see here, after he's upside down, the two is, is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost control, makes more contact with the three. Eleven and the four to get together. Here we are at the start finish line. It just pushes the three up into the air enough that it rolls over the top of a car. And then that momentum just continues to move him into the catch fence. Hang on, this will be a wild ride. That was Tony Stewart going underneath the three. And here was the response from Austin Dillon. After he got out, pulled the helmet off. The crowd was roaring at this point in time. Yeah, this has to be the best side of the night. You know, this is the, the scary part of auto racing. So when you see a big accident, you see Austin Dillon get out, he's removing. What he's removing there is his head and neck restraint. It connects to his helmet to keep his helmet from, from overextending somewhere. A Hans device, that's another version of it. Another safety uh, innovation, really, that's been required in NASCAR for a few years now.